Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be taking a look at another antivirus software. This one is called Bitdefender and it's usually ranked up there in the top five. But what I'm going to do is give it a full and honest review and see if it can take that number one spot. So the installation process is a very simple one. It's a couple of clicks and it's all installed and they make creating an account a very easy process as well. The only difficult part is choosing which subscription or level of protection that you actually want to go for. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using the total security option, but I'll put a link down in the description so that you can check out all the different options available to you. And if they do have any discounts or anything like that on at the time, I'll put a link down there for that as well. Now, when you first open up the app, you'll notice it has a very easy to read layout. And this section up the top here shows you automatic recommendations on how to get the most from your product. When it comes to features, the reason I'd rank Bitdefender as one of, if not the best antivirus softwares out there, is that it has pretty much every feature an antivirus product could ask for. Whether you're wanting to speed up your computer, defend it from malware, or increase your privacy, there's always a feature that will do the job. One of the great and unique features which Bitdefender has is you can lock their app with a password. This means that you can't access it or open it without the password. And the reason why this is great is because often when you get a virus, the first thing it will try to do is disable any protection that your computer has. But with this feature turned on, it won't be able to access your app, therefore it won't be able to disable it. If we take a look in the utilities section, we'll find a variety of tools that can be used to optimize your computer's performance. You can clean your disks by removing unwanted and duplicate files, and you can increase the startup time of your computer by removing or delaying the launch of unnecessary programs that boot up when you start Windows. There's a surprisingly detailed feature in the privacy section, and that's the parental controls. A different profile can be set up for each child, and the features include things like location tracking, application blocking, and even a safe check-in button. Now, when it comes to keeping your credit card information secure when you're shopping online, they have a dedicated browser to use for your transactions called SafePay. It's highly encrypted, and whenever you make a purchase, you should do so using this browser. In fact, it's so encrypted that I can't even show you it working because it blocks access from my screen recording software that I'm using to make this video. Okay, so before I take a look at the VPN and the quick scan function, I just wanted to take a look at some of these automatic recommendations up the top here. So the first one, it's recommending that I check if there are any outdated apps as these can cause security risks. As you can see, there are none coming up. Next up, it's saying that some of my Windows passwords might be a little bit weak and maybe I should update them. So when I take a look at that, it's showing me that one of my accounts does have a weak password. So after I've made this video, I will go and correct that issue. So the next thing is flagging up is that there could be some updates for my operating system. In this case, there are, and it's telling me there's a critical Windows update. And without it, things aren't going to be very secure. So obviously, again, as soon as I've done this video, that's something I will address. And this next one here is a file shredder. Usually when files get deleted from your computer, they can still be recovered, which means they're never fully gone. But with a file shredder, you're making sure that any information that you want to delete has been permanently removed. And last up is the startup optimizer, which I mentioned earlier. So when I come into this, you'll see there's a list of programs that do get started when I boot up Windows, and it actually tells you how long each one adds to the boot up process. So from here, if there's any that's adding too much time, I can select them, either delay the start of these programs or disable them altogether. Now with Bitdefender's premium security option, you get full unlimited use of their VPN. You can use their VPN on the total security option, except there are a few limitations. For starters, you only get a 200 megabyte download limit per day, which is fine in most cases, but the bigger drawback is that you can't select a location to browse from. But if you try to select one, it'll bring up their upgrade options, so if you're interested, you can take a look at that. So one of the main features of any antivirus software are the system scans. But I also took a look at some of the professional results from the labs which test these things on a daily basis. So as you can see here, before I started the scan, my CPU was running at about 10% of its full capacity. Once I started the scan, this jumped up to around about 30 to 35%, so that's about a 20 to 25% increase. Okay, so there are some antivirus softwares out there that are slightly more efficient in this field, but this is definitely an acceptable rate. So at the start of 2020, Bitdefender was put through some vigorous testing by a company called AV Test. 
The results showed that it blocked 100% of all frequently used malware and zero day exploits, which is an amazing security result. It did take a bit more time to launch some popular websites, but it took less time to install some programs, so it evens itself out there. It's worth mentioning that during this test it did show two false positives, but that's not actually uncommon and it's about half of the average rate. Another company, AV Comparatives, also tested Bitdefender in October of 2019. In their testing it didn't quite make 100% but it blocked 99.7% of all malware, missing just two cases out of more than 700 tests. This is another amazing result and it's the reason why they awarded it 3 stars, which is their highest level of security certification. I'll include some links in the description to these test results so you can check them out for yourself. There's also a third company who run these tests. The first test they do is similar to the previous two I've just mentioned and they also showed similar results. But on top of this they also run a banking simulation test. In this test it did fall slightly behind some other antivirus products though such as Kaspersky which I reviewed the other day. But all in all it was still given the highest level of certification here which in this case was a level 1. Now I also conducted my own test using the AMTSO phishing pages detection test. This is a test that not many products pass as most of them aren't able to block this particular phishing page. But it was no match for Bitdefender. It secured the threat and blocked me from accessing it. So as you can see Bitdefender certainly deserves to be labelled as one of the best. But does it deserve the number one spot? Well personally I think yes it does. But it's closely followed by some of its competitors that are well worth a look as well. I think the one thing that keeps it one step ahead is the sheer amount of features available with your subscription. Most other products have a lot of features involved, but this one seems to have them all. It's easy to install, easy to use, and its support desk is available 24-7. And although its subscription packages may seem a little complicated, there's a lot of them and this means that you can always be guaranteed to get a package where you're not going to be paying for too many features that you're not going to use. So all in all, after my testing, it's definitely one that I'm going to recommend. Check out the description where you'll find links to reviews to its competitors, as well as more information and any discounts or deals that they might be running at the time. I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope you've learnt something. Make sure you stay safe online and I'll catch you on the next video.